total, but also in the pieces that she's bringing onto the team and also her staff. She really feels that this year they're in a spot to make jumps in the standings. Up to Maurice's up top. We talked about it. A career high, 34 points last time out on the road at Minnesota for Penn State. Penn State works it up top to Kapanis. Shot clock runs down south of five seconds. That one pinballs off of Williamson. Indiana gets it back. They feed it ahead for home. Scoop and scores in. Good start for Indiana. A little bit of transition offense for the Hoosiers to get us rolling. We're going to talk about Mackenzie Holmes all night, Jake, and we just saw her use her athleticism and run the floor and a great high low pass from Allie Campbell to Alexa Williamson and that's why we see Allie Campbell in the starting lineup for the first time this season is because she has fantastic size height and touch on those passes Penn State the full court press forces an errant pass out of bounds by Indiana gets the ball back Penn State's way Marin it's a Penn State team that really good in forcing turnovers 23 turnovers per game fours that's top 20 nationally it's going to be an interesting battle for us to watch because Indiana can counter that with the fewest turnovers committed, fifth in the nation at just 11 a game. So that pressure and how Indiana handles Penn State's pressure will be key all night. Up top, Kappen has thought about it for a second. Now she'll pirouette in the lane, throw it hard off glass. Bit too strong, rebounds. Hauled in by the Hoosiers. Stretch pass up, there's another turnover. Penn State back three on two if the Lady Lions can hurry. Campbell, entrance pass down low, up layup good. Williamson, the three-year starter from Temple, makes the trip about three hours west to Happy Valley. Now she suits up for the blue and white. Penn State the lead early. They continue to show pressure. Bounce pass, Holmes has it short corner. Passes it down low to a cutting Gare zone. She finishes it. The Israeli native Gare zone averaging 12 a game this year. That one trickles out of bounds. Penn State will inbound. Anna Camden, she checks in. Just eight minutes. Last time out. Take a look at this another layup here. Marin from Williamson. At the controls for Penn State, Shea Chesky works it over to Marisa on the wing. Back up top, it's Camden. Show quick trigger three. That one nicks off the front of the iron. Rebound is vacuumed up by Indiana. All knotted up early, about two and a half minutes into this one. Hoosiers working on the wing. They swing it back near side to Scalia. Scalia bounce pass down low. Gare's zone. Hop step. Throws a shot. Bit too strong. Rebounds grabbed by Marisa. Marisa weaves her way through the defense. Back up top. They swing. Wing. Chesky fires a three. That one off the side of the iron. No. Rebound is grabbed by Scalia. Scalia works back for Indiana. Another quick trigger three from the Hoosiers. That one's up and in. Sydney Parrish. 34% three-point shooter on the season. Sydney Parrish is a player who has had double doubles and scored over 20 points multiple times this year, so a hand in her face. She's not afraid to shoot it in transition. And State pulls up. That one spills off the side of the iron from Campbell. Parrish, a player who has scored in double figures in every game she has started so far this year. Step back three, Scalia. That's too strong. Marisa grabs the board. State back, Marisa settles things down. Yet to find the scoring sheet tonight. Works it off towards her left to Kapanis. Kapanis works it over to the foul line. Far side, thinking about a shot momentarily. Chesky. She'll drive baseline. Works it back up top. Shot clock dips below 10 seconds. Camden, foul line, pass down low. A bit too high for Campbell. That's out of bounds. Ball goes back Indiana's way. Penn State is going to take advantage of any other defender on the low block besides Mackenzie Home. So we're going to see a lot of high-low action. We're going to see Ali Campbell looking for that recipient of that high-low pass, as well as Alexa Williamson, Anna, Cam Anna Camden. Backdoor cut, layup up and in. That one's Sanvik. She recently checked in. State tries to push it with tempo. Marisa just throws an errant shot up and off the front of the rim. Campbell collects, throws it up. That won't go. Holmes gets the rebound, but Holmes, Marin, as you were alluding to, her defense is stellar. Third all-time in Indiana history in blocks, but this time she won't be able to block that one as Marisa coasts in, coast to coast, for a wide-open layup. That snaps a 7-0 Indiana run. Penn State has to be able to score so that they can set up in their press and limit the time Indiana has on, the, on their offensive end. Penn State is forced. 
four turnovers so far tonight. Chesky shows tight defense on Scalia. They move it over to Moore McNeil. Haven't seen much of her tonight, but she's expected to be another X Factor. Cutting pass down low. Errant shot Parrish. Rebound. Pinballs around. Parrish able to recollect it in the corner. She draws. Shot clock down the one. That'll be a charge. Come full court. So she's not surprised, but I'm sure that valuing each possession, faking passes to make the pass was addressed in that first time out. Thank you for joining us once again. I'm Jake Starr, joined alongside by Marin Walseth. Up top, Marisa, she'll drive from the foul line. Throws up a layup, left side won't go. Cass grabs the rebound, can't put it in. That one stepped out of bounds. Off Penn State, ball goes back Indiana's way. Penn State once again shows that full court presser. Already forced a couple of Indiana turnovers off of it thus far. Move it over to Garrizone. Garrizone bounce pass down low. Holmes. Penn State's kept her fairly quiet tonight. Just two points. Into the corner she kicks it. There's a three. That one. Rattles in and out from Sanvik. Rebound is grabbed by Penn State. Lady Lions push it the other direction. There's Shea Chesky. Foul line jumper. She'll pull up. Not enough on it. Cash gets the rebound. We know she's a rebound machine. Marisa at the wing. Pumps drives up and under. That one rolled in and out. And the rebound's grabbed by Indiana. So Asia Cash, we talked about, averages 6.2 rebounds per game. That time she picks up a foul. And that'll send Indiana the line to shoot two. Penn State really struggling offensively. Now Indiana a chance for a couple. Here we see the drive, the attack. And Moore McNeil really using Mackenzie Holmes as a screen there. Janasia Cash is better served with her hand straight up. But Jake, you alluded to Penn State struggling on the offensive end. In my opinion, it looks like McKenna Marisa is pressing a little, a little too much. Also, Penn State has been unlucky with a couple attacks and layups just rolling in and rolling out. Moore McNeil, two for two at the line. Team lead 92% from the line this year. Also one of just five players nationally that are 50% from the field, 40% from deep, and 90-plus percent from the foul line. Marisa will pull up, 18-footer, won't go. Her shooting struggles continue. She's now one for six on the evening. Much different than we saw from her on Saturday night. That three is up and in from Sarah Scalia. And the lead for Indiana grows up to eight. Scalia has deep range and the green light to shoot it as soon as she comes in the gym. Exactly what... The IU coaching staff wants from her since joining the squad. That layup up and a bit short. Fought for foul called. Shania Pinto started last game off the bench tonight. Take another look at it here. They feed the Pinto. That layup just a little too short. Nice job, though, by her to get the rebound. I like the persistence to attack the offensive glass. We talked about Sarah Scalia, one thing the head coach Terry Morin said earlier this week. First player in the gym shooting, last player out the game shooting. Marisa, she'll shoot a three and finally gets one to go. Cuts the lead down to five. But on the topic of Scalia, though, Morin, she suddenly said they're fine if they're taking deep threes as long as it's in the rhythm of the game. This time the rhythm finds Lily Meister down low. She gets the layup up and in. Good response to the three. When players put the time in the gym, coaches have no problem with their shot selection. Marisa up top, into the corner. There's a three from Kefinis. Penn State's got two in a row. Penn State team, 34% from deep this year. No shots are going to have to fall tonight if Penn State wants to have a chance in this one. Excellent swarming defense by the Lady Lions so far. Corner three won't go Scalia. Little hesitation from her on that shot. Reset the controls again. They work it to Pinto on the left side. They kick it corner. Can Penn State make it three in a row? No, they can't. Chesky spills it off the side of the iron. Indiana long pass up Meister. That one tipped off her hands incomplete out of bounds. And ball will go back Penn State's way. A little under two and a half minutes to go in this first quarter. We're seeing... Mackenzie Holmes come back in, replacing the freshman Lily Meister. And the best thing for Meister in her development is to play with and behind and next to Holmes every day in practice. Already you're seeing Meister step into the role that Holmes plays, you know, for 38, 39 minutes a game. 
Meister just four minutes on Sunday. Here's a pull-up shot from Chesky. That one's clean. And Penn State cuts the lead to two. Lady Lions getting hot from the field these last few minutes. That one's tipped up by Pinto, but it pinballed off the hands of Holmes, and it'll go back Penn State's way. Defense for the Lady Lions turning it up. Offense, we knew would get there, but the defense all night so far has been there. Penn State is continuing to play with composure and confidence on the offensive end, which is one of their keys coming into this game. If you take the right shots, they will fall. Chesky, the freshman, carousels her way back towards the corner. Penn State gets it back up top to Marisa. She'll try to take it left, finds herself amongst the crowd of bodies, so she kicks to the corner. Captain is three, won't go. Marisa tracks down the rebound. Back up top, Pinto. Quick touch pass down low. Williamson turns, faces, won't go, but Williamson will head to the line. She'll shoot two and a chance to tie it up. Arizona whistled for the foul. Marin will take another look at it right here. I like Penn State's intentionality there on finding the mismatch. Garzone is a guard, used to playing perimeter defense, forced to play post defense. When it comes to depth, the Hoosiers don't have a lot of bodies due to injuries. I'm sure we'll talk about as the broadcast continues. But being intentional on throwing the basketball into any def any offensive player that Holmes is not guarding on the block is to Penn State's advantage. Williamson nailed the first, looking to tie it up here. Williamson, a transfer from Temple University. Second shot's a bit short. Holmes gets the rebound. So the Penn State deficit sits at one, but it's been a 6-0 run over the last 90 seconds for the Lady Lions to get back into it. Driving from the right side, Moore McNeil. She has the button hook in the lane and pull it back out. Moore McNeil back up top. They'll work it around the perimeter. Here's zone. She'll drive. Player goes down. That's a blocking foul on Penn State. Looks like Williamson, excuse me, actually it is Williamson, called for it. Just couldn't get the feet set there where the body came in. Williamson has to understand her value as we see that foul again. Understand her value to this team. They need her on the floor. They need her ability to score in the paint early in the game. Do you take that charge? Do you try to get that? Or, or is that something that you just look to contest? Floater up and in, but Sydney Parrish called for the charge. That's what you said, Penn State. Gets a body in the lane, gets Parrish called for the charge, and goes back Penn State's way. Indiana scoring throughout now over two minutes as well. Now this is a fantastic job by Pintu, getting her feet outside that restricted arc. So Penn State, chance to grab the lead of the main bucket here. Kappen is at the controls. McKenna Marisa, she awaits in the corner. Now she'll make her way back up top. Receives a dribble handoff. Quick hesitation move drives. Layup too strong. Holmes gets the rebound. She's been a vacuum in the paint already tonight. Up to four rebounds in this first quarter. About 20 seconds separate the clocks. Got her zone tries. Bounce pass. Marisa almost took it away. Pinballs off her foot. Scooped off the ground and back to Marisa. Great extra hustle there by pin two. Indiana up to nine turnovers in this first corner. We said earlier they average 11 per game, good for fifth across Division I. Up top, it's Kapanis. Moves it over to Marisa. Marisa at the wing. Shot clock down to seven. Marisa wants to get working here. Picks up her dribble, kicks it. Kapanis, step back. She'll put up a three. That one won't go too strong. Rebound, though, grabbed by Chesky. Five seconds. Penn State can hold for the last shot. Marisa, bounce pass. Pinto, shot no short. And that is how the first quarter comes to an end. Penn State, though, finished it on a run. 6-0 to be exact. Has kept in the court on transition. Back to you, Jake. Thank you very much, Zach. Six offensive rebounds, four second chance points for Penn State in that first quarter. Also, Penn State forced a ton of rebounds, a ton of turnovers as well. Holmes has it down low. That's worked back up top. That's out of bounds. Ball will stay with Indiana. Carolyn Keeger, though, not too thrilled with that. She thought it went off the team in red. That was the second possession that we have seen. Penn State double-team Mackenzie Holmes when she receives the basketball on the block. Look for that to continue, especially when the ball is passed in from the wing. And bound guard zone. She turns, shot. That one won't go. The shooting struggles continue as of late for Indiana. Ball loose on the floor. Picked up by Penn State. Chesky, she gets fouled. 
way away from the basket. Chesky's happy about that one. Great play by the true freshman. Here we're going to see Leilani Kapanis and Alexa Williamson get on the floor to keep that basketball, keep that play alive, and Chesky's the, the recipient. Marisa has it left side. She'll work at baseline. Kicks to the corner. Penn State quick ball moving up top. Chesky shows a fake. Works towards her left. Works off the screen. Back up top. Kapanis. Bounce pass down low. That tipped off a couple of hands. It'll stay with Penn State. Holmes last touched it. For the Hoosiers, Penn State to inbound. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Kapanis will trigger things underneath the attacking basket for Penn State. She'll rainbow it up. Marisa hauls it in. Stands right at the Penn State logo. Three on the shot clock. Marisa drives. Step back. Shot from the elbow. Won't go. Rebound is lassoed in by Moore McNeil. Hoosiers look to push with tempo. Moore McNeil lost it for a second. Beer lets in the lane and swings it back up top to Garzone. They work it left side to Scalia. Holmes has it up top. Feet moved. Cannot put the ball to the hardwood soon enough. Ball back Penn State's way. That is the 10th turnover tonight for Indiana. Opportunity for Penn State to get a quality shot here. Yes, they want to score in transition when they can, but a set opportunity here. They want, they're looking for exact execution as Indiana brings a double team there. And Campbell says, why not? You left me open, I'll knock down the three. It gives Penn State its first lead in a while. That's got to give Allie Campbell some confidence as she hesitated before she let that fly. She's a shooter. She needs to put it up when she's open. Campbell limited action as of late. Just five minutes against Minnesota on Saturday. The redshirt sophomore from not too far away from here, Altoona, making her first start for Penn State. Holmes a deep two. You'll take that. Have Holmes 20 feet away from the basket. Let her take that shot all day. And right there, we're seeing a little of the changing defenses by Penn State. And clearly that stifled the fluidity of the Indiana offense. It's one thing Terry Morin talked about this week. The different looks that Penn State will give you. That one was bobbled. Goes right to the arms of Kapanis. Up top, Marisa. Shot clock gets down again. Five seconds left. Marisa. Doubled, shakes her way out of it. Two seconds to go. Deep three, Kapanis won't go. Rebounds grab by Garzone. Back the other way. That one's fed down low. More McNeil pinballs around and another turnover. Penn State's got it back. Looking to push it. Kapanis pulls up, floater, and she gets it. Penn State lead up to four, and Indiana will take a time. But Penn State, Marin, not shying away from that number four that stands next to Indiana. Not intimidated in the least bit, knowing that they played a very good double overtime game versus Minnesota, able to clean up a few things by watching film and having one of the best practices that they had all season just yesterday. Definitely coming into this game feeling confident. Holmes nails the foul line jumper. That's the first made field goal for Indiana since the 307 point of quarter number one. Penn State's defense has stifled them to the tune of 11 turnovers, which now matches. Indiana's season average, and we still have about two and a half quarters to play. Work at the Chesky. She'll go baseline on Moore McNeil. Kick out to the corner. Three ball fired away. Marisa, that one spins in and out. And the rebound is yo-yoed in by Indiana. Back comes Moore McNeil. At the control, stands at the logo. Chesky marks her. They work it over to Scalia. Off the screen, picked up by Allie Brigham. Ball loose, foul called as Indiana scooped it back up. Allie Campbell picks up the foul. That's her first, team's first of this second quarter as well. We saw Penn State ice that ball screen, turn it into a trap. And Allie Campbell came looking for the steal. Just didn't quite get it. Up top, Hoosiers work it. Over to Scalia. Working more McNeil, quick touch pass down low. Parrish turns, shoots, knocks it down. Couple of nice run offensive sets for Indiana out of the timeout. Mini 4-0 run for the Hoosiers. Penn State works it. Back to Chesky. Chesky, the freshman, Jersey native, at the controls. Feeds it down low. Brigham tried to work a little roll. Couldn't get it to her. Indiana gets it back. Just Penn State's third turnover tonight. That's been a big reason why the Lady Lions have been in this one. 
There's a three, fired away, won't go. More McNeil, Brigham vacuums up the rebound. I think Penn State needs to pick up their pace a little. That does, not mean they, that does not mean they need to take quick shots, but the last two offensive possessions have just been a step slower. Penn State works it around the perimeter, taking their time as Marwin alluded to. Captain is dribble handoff to Chesky. Chesky, show work left. Kick it out up top. Campbell fires a three, and she gets it. Big three there from Allie Campbell. She's got six points. Two shots made from beyond the arc. That shot won't go from Indiana. Now Penn State looks to push the envelope a bit in transition. Marisa up top. She'll go left. Works her way around Holmes on the mismatch, and she gets the lay in to go. Marisa up to seven. As impactful as Mackenzie Holmes is on her offensive end, she's not nearly the defensive presence that she could be because she doesn't want to foul. She knows her value on the offensive end. Parrish up top. They work it over now towards the wing. Marisa marks Scalia. Holmes, hence they're trying to keep her away from the basket. They've been successful at that. That pull-up jumper won't go from Parrish. Penn State gets the rebound. Five-point lead for the Lady Lions. Looking to expand on it here in quarter number two. At the top of the key, Lilani Kapanis. Moves it over to Chesky. Chesky shall drive. Pull-up short corner jumper won't go too strong. Missed everything. Back the other way comes Parrish. Parrish kicks corner. Open for a second. Penn State able to mark Sanvik very quickly. Working left side. That lay in no. Ball was tipped. Out of bounds by Indiana to go back Penn State's way. He lines the five-point lead. Pin two checks back in for Penn State as well. Here we see Mar McKenna Marisa attack, and Mackenzie Holmes understands her value, does not try to block that shot. Big credit to Penn State center Allie Brigham getting quality minutes here as she takes a break. One stepped away, though. Pinball's into the hands of Williamson. Back to Maurice up top. Shot clock trickles down under 10 seconds. Chesky on the left side. Has herself marked by Moore McNeil. She'll drive, kick it out, turnover. Indiana's got it back. Hoosiers over the last four have not scored in two and a half minutes. They had those back-to-back -back made field goals out of the Moore in timeout. But they have gone quiet since. Just four points in quarter number two. Up top, Parrish, she'll drive. Penn State's defense has been swarming. Pass down low, layup no from Meister. Penn State had some contestion from the behind. That one works over towards the front of the Penn State bench. Whistles do blow. Stoppage and play. Marisa whistled for the foul. We'll take another look at it. Nice hustle by Sydney Parrish to keep that in bounds. And McKenna Marisa just, her momentum led her right into Sydney Parrish on, on the sideline. Inbound, and Penn State takes it away. Pin two. Out of bounds off her, but got to like the aggression from Penn State. We've seen it all night. Absolutely. You'd love the actual steals, but the deflections, keeping yourself in the play, keeping yourself in the minds of the Indiana players. I almost thought Sarah Scalia was going to get called for an offensive foul. It seemed a little bit frustrated with the pressure defense by Shania Pintu. That shot from Paris snapped in over three minutes scoring drought for Indiana again. Penn State still leads by three. Into the corner, that's tipped out of bounds by Parrish. Ball will stay with Penn State. Under three minutes to play in this first half. Lady Lions still got the lead. Allie Campbell, she'll inbound. Works it up top, McKenna Marisa. Marisa, team leading 18.7 points per game this season. She'll work her way right, steps back. Eight on the shot clock. She'll pull up, elbow jumper. That one spins in. And Marisa, after a quiet start, up to nine points on four for 12 shooting so far. Into the corner, Moore McNeil. She's double teamed. Tipped away by Chesky. Chesky works it back. She'll Euro step in. She gets blocked out of bounds, though, by Moore McNeil. Moore McNeil stands at 5'11", Chesky at 5'7", and we saw that four-inch difference there, but got to like Chesky. Pesky hands defensively. This is a, here we see McKenna Marisa's jumper, but we just saw the freshman Shea Chesky show pure determination, no fear attacking the much taller and, and arguably more athletic Moore McNeil. 
Chesky averaging 12 in her last five. That's two higher than her season average of 10. That one's bounced down low out of bounds. And I'll go back Indiana's way. But that's the thing, Marvin, if you're Penn State, you've done such a great job forcing turnovers. You've got to make sure you're playing clean basketball on your end as well. And that was a, a simple post-entry pass. Alexa Williamson just needs to see the basketball into her hands. Yarding Gare zone. Penn State's kept her quiet tonight. Just two points, one for three from the field. She'll pull up, take it back up top, the more McNeil. Parrish works it baseline, pass down low, Holmes up and in. Indiana caught Penn State in the rotation there. Excellent passing for the Hoosiers. Up top, Chesky, Chesky, short corner, working it in, Williamson. Williamson pinballs around, gets it back up top. Chesky, she'll drive up and under, you can count it, and a foul. Jay Chesky, everyone around her may be taller than her. Didn't matter, though, to the freshman. Under a couple of bodies and scoops it up and in. She'll try to complete the three-point play. This kid is special. There's not one part of that that looks like a freshman play. Little English, and then her teammates are getting her excited. I love to watch players play with the heart and the emotion that Shay Chesky plays with. Chesky shot up and a bit strong. Chesky was the... Number 56 player, number 14th ranked point guard in the class of 2022. It was a recruit and commit that Penn State was eagerly excited for to finally get on campus, and we see why, especially tonight. Just under a minute to go, Penn State's defense has been excellent in this first half. They lead by five. Up the Moore McNeil, shot clock south of 10. Defense swarms like bumblebees for Penn State. That's a shot, deep one, two. You'll take it if you're Penn State, and the ball goes back the Lady Lions way. Marisa tries to push the tempo a bit. She'll work it right on Moore McNeil. She'll step back. Elbow jumper won't go. Rebound lassoed in by the Hoosiers. And I'm okay with the shot at that time on the clock playing two for one possession basketball here. Get a nice defensive stop and still have opportunity on the one more op offensive opportunity for Penn State. About 13 seconds separate the clock. Scalia tries layup up and in. Cuts it to three, 20 seconds to play. Lady Lions can hold for the last shot. Looks like they'll do just that. Marisa works it across the timeline, stands at the logo. I'm expecting a high ball screen here, maybe a reef screen. Marisa, she'll drive, spin, foul line, step back, kick it, elbow jumper, cash, bank won't go. And that is how the first half comes to an end. Well, Penn State's got the lead. That's a big play. Right to left in their road red and whites. Penn State in their home white and navy blues. Jay Chesky, she'll start at the controls. Played all 20 minutes of the first half. Picked up four points on two of seven shooting. They get to Marisa. She goes right side. Layup blocked by Holmes. She's the team leader in blocks on this season. Back comes Indiana. Moore McNeil settles things down. Yo-yo's the ball off the hardwood. Pumps and then gives it to Mackenzie Holmes, she stands top of the arc. Penn State giving her plenty of space to work with up there. Moore McNeil just beyond the foul line. They work at corner, Parrish pump drives baseline. Penn State can test, but Paris, an excellent job working over Penn State defender Williamson. Gets the first blood of half number two. And that possession was a perfect example of Indiana taking advantage of Penn State in their rotation. Down low they work it, Williamson spins it in and a foul. Late whistle by the official, but Penn State will take it. Alexa Williamson, a chance to complete the three-point play. We see her screen and use her body to seal Mackenzie Holmes on her backside. And this is a perfect pass. Again, a high-low from Allie Campbell, which is why she's in the basketball game and why she got the first her first start tonight. Alexa Williamson, a chance to complete the three-point play. 54% this season from the foul line. That shot's up and in. Penn State... Four-point lead, great response from the Lady Lions. Now they'll show press. Marin, you talked about in the first half, made baskets huge for Penn State for a lot of reasons, but also it allows them to show that full-court pressure that Indiana really struggled with in half number one. Whether it's showing the full-court pressure or allowing them to change their defense in the half court. Working up top, feed down low. Holmes, that's where they won her. Excellent spin move, reverse layups up and in on Williamson. That's a tough cover for Penn State. Excellent set call there isolating Mackenzie Holmes on the low block. Holmes up to eight tonight season average of 21. Chesky swings it to the wing. Marisa orchestrates from there. 
They work it down low into the corner. Kapanis, so drive baseline, work her way back out. Shot clock dips below 10. Kapanis spins, throws it up. She'll be fouled. Good aggression by Penn State's Kapanis. She'll head a line to shoot two. Sydney Parrish is called for the foul. That's her third. Still early in the second half. We'll see if she remains in the game. And that'll take Kapanis over to the line. Kapanis, two shots for her, 70% foul line shooter this year. First shots up and in. Kapanis on the day, up to six points overall. Five games and double figures this season. Gets her way up to seven points now. And State's lead extends up to four. This pressure just trying to slow the Hoosiers down a little bit. Make them use more shot clock. Scalia takes a three. We saw her nail a few in the first half. That one pinball is out of bounds. Ball will stay with Indiana. Hoosiers set the inbound. Underneath their attacking basket. They'll kick it corner. Scalia shoots another three. That one won't go. Rebound, though, is grabbed by Garzon. Up top, Parrish wide open. She tries a three. That's three misses. On this offensive possession, but a foul called on the floor against Penn State. Shea Chesky gets it. Shea Chesky is just getting wrapped up in the much taller players like Garzone and Mackenzie Holmes. Holmes drives, spins, layup, no. Rebound is grabbed by Allie Campbell. Very uncharacteristic miss there by Mackenzie Holmes. She's got such a fantastic footwork, such a great touch. Marisa, Pirillette's in the lane. Back up top, they get it to Campbell. Campbell holds it down at her waist. Says, I'll shoot it. A little too strong. Rebound is grabbed by Garzon. Back comes Indiana. Right to left across your stream. Chloe Moore McNeil tries to push it. Button hook in the lane. Back up top, they work it around the perimeter. Bounce pass down low. Holmes up, count it. Foul. She'll head of the line looking to complete the three-point play. Good aggressive play by Mackenzie Holmes. She's now in double figures. That was quick, you know she's instant offense, but it's really set up by this Sydney Parish drive, forcing again, rotation. And Indiana found Penn State in that rotation on a nice dump down pass. Home she'll shoot, five for seven from the field tonight. Second across the NCAA in field goal percentage, just a tear, a tick under 70% on the season. Foul shots up, bit too strong, rebound is grabbed by a soaring Alexa Williamson. And stay back, they still lead by two. Hoosiers have outscored them 6-5 since the page turned the quarter number three. Chesky works up top. She's been a stabilizing force for the Lady Lions tonight. They work it back to Chesky, the true freshman from Lancaster, New Jersey. Pounds the hardwood with the right hand. Five on the shot clock, kicks, corner. Kapanis fires away. That's way too strong. Rebounds grabbed by Holmes. Marin didn't like that shot. That's not Shade, uh, I'm sorry, that's not Leilani Kapanis' game. And, and so now it comes down to putting the people in the right positions. If that corner pass is going to be open, Penn State orchestrating a shooter in that spot. Down low, Holmes post. This is where they want her. She spins back up top. Work it to the corner to Moore McNeil. They work it back. Up top, all the way around the road. Three fired away, Parrish won't go. Rebounds grabbed by Penn State. 18% from deep from Indiana tonight. Their 36% team on the season. Marisa fires a three. That one spins in and out. Rebound is grabbed by the Hoosiers. Penn State struggling right now offensively. Scoring drought over the last two minutes and ten seconds. Still hold a two-point lead, keeping Indiana's offense very much at bay. More McNeil, Parrish. She's open. They'll try another three. That one rattles home. And Indiana grabs its first lead in a while. They lead by one. Just their third made triple of the night. Marisa will settle things down. We've talked how Penn State has been better when pushing it in tempo. But off that made Indiana shot. And Lady Lions forced to play it in the half court. Good cut Marisa, but a travel call there on pin two. Bit too giddy with the feet. Ball goes back Indiana's way. Penn State's scoring drought continues. Jake, you're talking about the pace here as we say, as oh shoot, Pintu wants that back. She had the right read with Marisa going back door. 
coming to a jump stop allows her to keep that that possession for Penn State. Warren McNeil works up top. She's marked by Kapanis. Bounce pass to the wing. They feed Holmes down low. That layup's a bit short. Good contest by Anna Camden. Rebound pinball is off a couple of bodies. Finally vacuumed up by Penn State. Lady Lions have not scored in over three minutes. Looking for a big offensive possession here. Marisa at the wing. She steps back. Fires of three. That one's short. Barely skimmed the rim. And the rebound is out of bounds. Kapanis last to touch it. Tried to save it. Ball goes back Indiana's way. Penn State really stagnant offensively right now. Indiana had a miscue or lack of communication on that ghost screen by Anna Camden. Unfortunately, McKenna Marisa was not able to capitalize. Indiana breaks Penn State's press and nobody deep to defend. More McNeil coast on in for the layup. The pace of this half court possession is key for Penn State. They need to keep the ball and the people moving. Marisa, she'll slash her way towards the right. She'll carousel her way back up top. Down low. Pintu cuts. Big lay in from Pintu. Good pass from McKenna Marisa. Team leader and assist as well at four and a half per game. And stay can, back within one. You can feel the crowd in here. They're a knowledgeable crowd. They understand the score. They understand how they can be of impact. And you can just feel them trying to urge on the Penn State defense. So whistles blow, timeout called on the floor. Indiana from them consistently for 40 minutes yet this season. Hoosiers will inbound. Working up top on the near side, it's Chloe Moore McNeil, works around a screen. Mackenzie Holmes on the bench for a brief breather. Lily Meister checks back in. Shot clock down the five. Indiana has to work quickly. Scalia layup, no. Rebound is vacuumed by Penn State. They turn it over, though. Moore McNeil goes in. Shot, no. But a foul called on at Penn State. Moore McNeil was lurking just behind, and Penn State didn't see her. That's just heartbreaking and backbreaking here on a fantastic rebound in traffic. But credit the junior, Moore McNeil, with just being sneaky and picking up a steal and an opportunity at the foul line. Moore McNeil, somebody who's very efficient on both sides of the floor. Since the turnover ratio that ranks third across the NCAA at five. That first shot up and in for the 92% free throw shooter, Moore McNeil. Second shot is in. Back to a three-point lead for Indiana. Hoosiers have certainly cleaned it up offensively in half number two. No turnovers after 12 in the first half. Season high for them is 18, as we alluded to, when the third quarter got underway. Work at the Chesky on the wing. She'll work her way down low, work her way back up top now. It's Anna Camden, high above her head, surveys her options. Right side, Campbell. Back to Chesky, shot clock, trickles down, layup up, and an awkward angle hits off the side of the rim. Indiana has it back quickly. Here's Garzone. Nice transition defense there by Penn State as Mackenzie Holmes was streaking down the middle of the lane. Holmes back in. That pass to her, and she gets it in. So Hoosiers up five now. Lady Lions, danger of losing a grip on this one if the offense stays quiet like it has. Being outscored 15-7 to seven in quarter number three. Down low, looking for Pintu. Dribbled away from her. She scoops it back up. Dribble handoff, Chesky at the wing. Pumps, drives at the foul line now. She'll back it back out. Indiana's defense has been swarming. Marisa goes right, crosses it up, down to her knees, throws over Camden. That won't go, a bit too strong. Indiana gets the rebound. Just a rush shot from Anna Camden, end of the shot clock. Penn State's out of rhythm on the offensive end and not as aggressive as they were in the first half. Penn State won for its last seven. Shooting from the field and the 30% field goal efficiency. Up top, it's Parrish. At the wing, down low, shot clock below 10. They kick it, open, corner. Moore McNeil fires away, gets it. Chloe Moore McNeil, nine points. Penn State takes a time out. Do that first half of defensive urgency and intensity and also challenging them to be more aggressive on the offensive end. Penn State with an opportunity to draw something out out of the break. 
Race up top. John Asia Cash also back in. I've not seen her much tonight. Played just 13 minutes on Saturday as well. That one they were trying to needle one down low to Cash. That's out of balance. She points at herself saying that's on me. But Penn State, fortunate for them, they hold on to the ball. Indiana has really thrown a couple of punches here in the third quarter, quarter, and it's how Penn State responds. And Penn State with the offensive foul there, so back Indiana's way. And that's the little bit of frustration that you're seeing from Janasia Cash. She wants it. She want, understands the aggressive mentality, but just forced a little bit of action there. So Cash checks out. Bring him back in. You take a look right there. Extends the arm on Scalia. Goes back Indiana's way. Penn State just eight turnovers, but 30% from the floor and a quiet spell as of late has really hampered the Lady Lions. Back up top, midway off the shot clock. Dribble handoff over to Garrison. Only two points from her tonight. She's been quiet. Averages 12 per game this year. Kicks back out to the wing. Five on the shot clock. Driving Paris. Shot up in. Now it's a double-digit lead for Indiana. First time either team's got in the double digits tonight. Kapanis at the controls. Works it to Marisa. Penn State's going to need her to heat up if they want to come back in this one. Kapanis works to the corner now to Campbell. Triple handoff of Brigham. Driving Kapanis layup up and in. That's a big one for Penn State. Just quiets that dry spell where Penn State hasn't scored in three and a half minutes. Really nice possession and a downhill attack by Leilana Kap Kapanis. Moore McNeil brings it across. The guard out of Sharon, Tennessee. Playing her college basketball in Bloomington, Indiana. Up top, it's Garzone. Moves it over now to Scalia. Holmes waves away a couple of players. They get it back to Holmes. She cuts in. Layup. No, but it will be a defensive foul on Penn State's Kapanis. Lady Lions not a fan of that one, nor was the crowd behind us. And there we don't see if the call was because she was in the restricted arc or because she was still moving. I'm willing to bet it was because she was not exactly planted. Looked like she was still dragging that right foot over. And that'll send Mackenzie Holmes to the line. Holmes, 13 points tonight now. One of two from the foul line where she's 67%, making two out of every three. On the season is Holmes, the Minnesota native. Second shot's up and in. That extends the lead back to 10. Under a minute to play. Quarter number three. Indiana heating up three for its last three. Outscoring Penn State 22-9 in the third quarter. Marisa works it up top. Goes left at the wing. Works around a Brigham screen. Kyra sells her way back up top. Marisa says she'll pull up. That one spins in and out. Rebound lassoed in by the Hoosiers. Indiana brings it back. Here's Garazone. Because the Penn State offense is a little out of sync, we're seeing McKenna Marisa force and try to do a little bit too much. I'd like to see her be a little bit more of a facilitator and keep the basketball moving. About two seconds separate the clocks. Indiana can nearly drain it down. Clock below 10. Driving left side. Pulling away three. Scalia, that one misses everything. So Penn State will get it back. 4.8 to play. Certainly enough time to get it down the floor. And that's why Shea, Shea Chesky... Checked back in. McKenna Marisa can get downhill. Leilani Kapanis can turn the corner. Shea Chesky has shown us today she is not afraid to go in amongst the much taller IU defenders. And State will love a made shot here. Here's Chesky. Stutter steps, drives, throws it up, layups in, and Chesky goes coast to coast. Like a Have not had a turnover here in the second half, a full 10 minutes of composure versus Penn State's frantic defense. Good teams show themselves at the end of the game and, and certainly that execution by Indiana, uncharacteristic miss there in the paint for Holmes. Penn State tried to push it quickly down low. Chesky who had that big shot late. They get it to Moore McNeil, that laying up and in. Penn State was gift wrapped a Rare miss by Holmes, and then a turnover leading to a transition bucket for Indiana. Puts the Hoosiers up 10. Still lots of time to go. Just under way here in the fourth quarter. Jake Starr, Marin Walseth. Thanks for joining us on Big Ten Plus. What should be a really exciting final quarter tonight. Williamson pretty much caught in no man's land. Bounce past it. 
up to Marisa. Shot clock dwindling down. Marisa will drive. She'll spin. Up top, Chesky. Can she get a big three? No. Rebound, though, is grabbed by Penn State. Fighting with a couple of defenders. Kapanis layup up and won't go. And the rebound is grabbed by Indiana. Hoosiers will begin to slow things down. Double-digit lead for them. They've led for about 16 minutes of tonight's game. Penn State a little under 12 with an advantage. At the wing, down low. That's poked aside. And it'll be off Penn State's Kapanis. Ball will stay with Indiana. A chance for them to draw something up here. Parrish checks back in for Sanfeek. Sarah Scalia was successful finding herself in the low corner in the last baseline out of bounds play. She seems to be eager and itching to get herself to the same spot in this opportunity. Your Penn State, you're looking for a stop and a bucket. And he had an inbound into the corner, open, Garzone, three, gets it. That's a huge three from Yarding Garzone. Team leader this year from beyond the arc, 51%. 13-point lead for Indiana. Lady Lions desperately in need of a charge here. Up top, they work it over to Campbell. Campbell on the wing. Chesky, Marisa. Marisa just nine points tonight, four of 17 shooting. Kapanis, she drives, shot clock down, two seconds, one second, layup too strong. Kapanis shoots to her feet, asking for a foul, but she does not get her wish. Moore McNeil gallivances across the timeline. Works at the parish. They'll work it around the perimeter. Move it over to Garazone. Parish entrance pass down low. Good cut. Good layup from Scalia. And that's a really at the break. The Indiana we have seen the last 12, 13 minutes of the second half. This is who we expected to see from Indiana. Not the team we saw in the first half. At the break, the Hoosiers elevated their execution and their defensive presence. And Penn State has just lagged or lacked in elevating on both ends for themselves. And, and we're seeing two very different teams for the positive for IU and, and not so positive for Penn State. Indiana back at top. They are shooting 50% tonight. Just a tick below their season average of 51. That one gets tipped away by Campbell. Coasting on in and gets it. Penn State will wave their players up for the full court press. Much to the demands of head coach Carolyn Keeger. The press did its job in the first half. Penn State will need to do its job over these final seven minutes and change. If thoughts of an upset are going to brew here in Happy Valley. War McNeil is marked by Pintu. Bounce pass over to Garzone. Feeds it down low. Parrish layup up. No. Rebound is vacuumed up by the Lady Lions. Here's Marisa. Drives. Lane slashes in. Layup won't go. But Marisa went to the line to shoot a couple, which is big. Clock stops. Chance to get a couple of points on the board. Here we see Marisa use Ali Brigham a little bit as a screen and attack Meister which calls for a quick sub from Indiana head coach Terry Morin, who brings Mackenzie Williams back in. But when we talk about flow of game, Penn State had a positive offensive possession followed by a great defensive possession. Now Maurice is back at the foul line trying to stack positive plays on both ends together. Maurice, a team leading 79% from the line this year, second shot. Spins in and out, and Indiana gets it back. Lady Lions still show that full court pressure. They got two seconds to get it across. They barely will get it over the timeline. Work it, Parrish. Quick pass down low, Holmes. Holmes spins, loses it, gets it back, and lays it up and in. That's just how talented she is. She can get the ball poked away. She can lose her balance, puts her eyes on the rim, and is still successful with the score. Lady Lions working around the perimeter. Pintu finds Williamson at the foul line. She'll drive, carousel her way around. Back up top to the wing, Marisa. Quick pass down low, pitch and catch Pintu. Nice move, layup up and cashes in. Really nice play there, Marin, from Pintu to make a play for herself. Indiana coming back, bounce pass open, layup up, no. Penn State gets a break there 
as Scalia was wide open, though. Rebounds tipped out by Penn State, so it'll stay with Indiana. Indiana is still looking to push in transition. A team that averages 89 points a game and only in the 50s here in the fourth quarter. Inbounded, down low, Parrish up, layup is in. Good job by Parrish, Marisa didn't see it. Able to yell for her and she's able to haul it in at the last second. Lady Lions down by 14. Marisa motions her way over to the left wing. She's double teamed, got Holmes on a switch, but Indiana quickly switches back. Rainbowing pass down low, up, re-corralled, and Williamson able to knock it down. She's in double figures, second Lady line with 10 tonight. Her and Marisa are gridlocked for the team lead. Penn State's eating up three for its last three, but Indiana not slowing down. Hoosiers five for the last seven. Penn State's going to need to stifle Indiana offensively if they want to come back in this one. And a timeout's called by Terry Morin as the Israeli native shall inbound it just in front of the scorer's table. They lob it looking for Holmes. Holmes catches, turns, reverse, up and in. Really nice play. Ren by Moore and Indiana out of the timeout. Penn State starting to really run out of time here. Kapanis drives, layup up and in. So Penn State's offense continues to convert here in the fourth quarter, up to nine points so far, but defensively they've really struggled to keep Indiana off the scoreboard. That's it from behind, but takes a lucky bounce right to the hands of Holmes. Moore McNeil got it, thought about a shot for a second, then backs things out smartly. Kills Precious seconds off the clock. Driving in, Garzone spins it home. Garzone has had an uncharacteristic quiet night for Indiana. A freshman who has really stepped in to a big role as a starter for a nationally ranked team. Penn State has done a nice job of holding her in check today. Garzone 12 a game, 7 tonight. Foul caught on the floor. Garzone, who we were just talking about, picks up her third foul. Team second, so no danger of any foul shots here. We'll take another look at that foul. That's Allie Williamson taking her defender baseline. Kapanis drives in the lane, kicks short corner, pin to layup up and in. Penn State now five for its last five when it's come the field goals made. But it's still a 12 point deficit. Clock under four. Lady Lions really need to get some stops here. Ball is inbounded. Past the outstretched arms of pin two. Garzone has it. Poked his side. Penn State back. Just the second turnover forced in the second half. Marisa drive. Carousels. Into the lane. She'll slash. Pick up her dribble. Ball draws free. Back up top. Pin two. Sends a pass over to Marisa. Marisa orchestrates from the Penn State midcourt logo. She goes right, double team, pass to a cutting Camden. Camden turns, cutting Kapanis, layup too strong. She does track down her own rebound, and she's fouled. Milani Kapanis heads the line. Nice ball movement by Penn State, lots of backdoor cutting. That was all set up by a ball screen that involved Mackenzie Holmes to keep, get her outside of the paint. Really opened up the opportunity for Kapanis. Lonnie Kapanis at the line. She'll shoot two. Leader in Big Ten in steals on the season as well. Kapanis first shot up and in. Makes it an 11-point game. Kapanis, 70% free throw shooter this year. Also fifth nationally in total steals. Second shot, gets it. Makes it a 10-point game. Penn State could use some of those steals from Kapanis. 3.7 per game, 33 on the season. Entering tonight, Lady Lions show full court pressure. Two on one now for Indiana. If they hurry, they won't. They'll reset things. They get it back to Moore McNeil. Moore McNeil spins, defended by Campbell. Over to Parrish. Parrish, Campbell tried to tip it away, but Shelby whistled for the foul. That'll be her second team's first of this fourth quarter. So Penn State, still plenty of fouls to give if that becomes a conversation in the next few minutes. Here we're seeing more McNeil handoff there to Sydney Parrish, but 
It's worth mentioning that Moore McNeil has been asked to slide over to the point guard position almost exclusively since Grace Berger has been injured and is out indefinitely for this, the, the next portion of the season. And so making that transition and owning that point guard position has almost been trial by fire. Mc, Moore McNeil is extremely talented, but stepping into that role with really out, without any notice because of an injury Head coach Terry Morin has been very pleased with how Mc Moore McNeil has handled herself. That was going to be the big question. Berger has missed now the last four games with an injury. How would Indiana step up around her? That question is going to be answered in these next three minutes. Three, fired away. That one won't go. Rebound, fought for. A couple of Hoosiers bobbled it, and it goes back to Penn State. Kapanis, up top, Camden. They swing at Marisa. Over to the wing, it's Campbell. Marisa up top. Seconds ticking away. Precious seconds. Keeger telling her squad to hurry up. Marisa Kapanis drives. Layup up. Count it. Back to single digits now. Little more than two minutes to play. Penn State will show full court presser. More McNeil across. And this is a time where maybe a steady presence like a grad student, Grace Berger, will come up huge. But we'll see who in Indiana can step up. And will more McNeil... Working at the controls. Under two to play. That one's tipped. That'll be a backcourt violation when it's scooped up. It is. Penn State gets it back down eight. One shot here makes this very interesting, Marin. Leilani Kapanis has really ignited the Penn State office offense here as we see McKenna penetrate and kick. And now Penn State must use the, use the pace, use the speed. Up top, Marisa. Moving over to the wing, Campbell. Bounce pass down low, Anna Camden. Up top, Campbell. She'll fire of three. That's short. Camden tracks down the rebound. Campbell tries, layups up, and she's fouled. Couldn't get it to go, but still a chance for a couple of points with the clock not moving. And a couple of shots here for Penn State. Trying to cut it to a six or seven point game. Pin two, 67% at the line this year. Senior? First shot's up, first shot is in. Pin two, interesting journey for her. Spent time at Oregon last year, played 30 games. Before that was at Northwest Florida State College. Was named a junior college player of the year and also won a national championship with Northwest Florida State College. Indiana off the rebound, seven point game. Get it to Holmes. They had a two on one. They had a player, Sandvik, streaking down to the net and Holmes is called for a travel. Holmes missed the wide open player, then called for the travel. Big turnover forced by Penn State, who's on a 7-0 run. Look at the trap there by Pintu and Williamson. They stayed with it. Arms are up. Penn State's got it back. Chesky walks it across the timeline. Another big possession for Penn State. Under 90 seconds to play. Marisa works it up top, corner. Kappen has thought about a three. Back to Marisa, show drive. Camden, long pass up top, pin two. Pin two, crosses up, drives. Chesky, three, won't go. Rebound will not come down as it goes over the backboard. And State got a look, Marin, to Chesky, which just couldn't get it to fall. That's an empty possession on the offensive end after a forced turnover. And State once again shows that full court pressure. Ball's inbounded to Scalia. Excellent job by Indiana breaking the press. They work it down low, get it to Mackenzie Holmes. Holmes has 18 points tonight. Up top to her, they work it to Parrish. And State needs a stop here. Parrish, step back. Marked up by Kapanis. Shot clock down south of 10. Driving, Moore McNeil. Bounce pass, looking, Sandvik layup, and she gets it. That could be the dagger, nine-point lead. Penn State needs to work quickly here. Marisa drives, left side. Precious seconds tick away. Back to Marisa, but a timeout called by Carolyn Keeger. 65-56 the lead, nine-point lead for Indiana. Certainly finishing at the rim. Kapanis inbounds, up to Chesky. Lady Lions have to work quickly. Marisa drives, kicks it back up top. Camden fires three, no. Rebound is fought for, grabbed by 
Still pinballing around. Marisa has a jump ball called. Possession arrow does favor Penn State. So the Lady Lions get it back, but this has got to be an inbound catch and shoot situation. You don't have time, Marin, to try and find an open shot. Inbound at Camden. Up top, Marisa. Marisa off her foot. Ball will go back Indiana's way. Penn State down by nine. They only have one foul, so. Shoot the gap, get a steal, get a deflection. See if they can't force Indiana to play a little faster than they want, but that timeout was definitely called by head coach Terry Morin to draw up an ex, uh, a sideline play that was perfectly executed. Inbounded over to Scalia. Foul will go against Jay Chesky. This Penn State's second in this fourth quarter. Second for Chesky as well. Indiana inbound now underneath the attacking basket. Moore McNeil inbound it. They get it up top. Scalia over to the left wing. We'll see if Penn State fouls. They are playing aggressive defense late here. And a foul will go against Shania Pintu. Indiana did what they had to do late. Penn State showed some pressure late. Tried to draw the close. Got it to a one single digit lead. And Holmes gets fouled again, but Indiana four for the last four did just enough to make this lead insurmountable. 7.8 seconds to go. Lady Lions on the defense again up to 14 fouls now. Still playing tough defense. No quit in Penn State. Maurice is called for the foul. That'll be the team's fifth. Marisa is just her second. Well, actually, fifth on Penn State. That'll now be foul shots for Indiana, but probably just too little too late. Six and a half seconds to play. Nine-point lead for the Hoosiers. Chance to put the finishing touches on. Wasn't the most pretty win in the world. About 20 points under their season average for Indiana, but they battled some adversity on the road in the first half and only their second true road game of the season. First Big Ten road contest. But they'll fly back to Bloomington tonight with a win. And definitely a lot to work on, but I think a lot to be happy about how the Hoosiers responded in half number two. And now it's called by Carolyn Keeger of 11 seconds to go. And, you know, Marin, you're someone who played at a high level for a long time. These conference years a year ago and also their second straight Sweet 16. And it's wins like this tonight that can help build character for a team trying to respond without one of its best players. Into Marisa, she'll turn, get the layup up and in. And quick stop just to add a little bit of time back onto the clock. Marisa's layup cut it back to a single-digit lead for Indiana. Point three left, 3.7 seconds to go. Hoosiers inbound into the corner. Clock will run down, and that is how tonight's ball game will end. 67-58, the final. Indiana did just enough late, just enough in the second half.